this question what I am displaying now. I have picked up this question from my final CMA book. So in your book or in ISM this question will not be there. And I purposely want to discuss this question in this class. So please take pain of writing down that question also. So let us begin with question number 33. Let us read this question. NJ Limited, a highly profitable company. Now here, do you see, they are not separately highlighting an assumption. Within the statement itself, they have smartly mentioned what? NJ Limited, a highly profitable company. The moment you read this line, be prepared that if there is a loss arising, that loss will be set off in the same year. Understood? Yes, sir. NJ Limited, a highly profitable company, has an existing machine with remaining life of 8 years, having WDV of rupees 20 lakhs for tax purposes. At the end of 8 years from now, this machine is expected to have a realizable value of rupees 1 lakh. The depreciation rate as permissible under tax law is 25% per annum on WDV basis. Tax rate is 40% and desired rate of return is 10% per annum. And what is this desired rate of return? <laughs> Re expected rate of return, discounting rate, cutoff rate, cost of capital, all that is one and the same. One word change from expected rate of return to desired rate of return, it doesn't change the meaning. This existing machine which can be sold for rupees 16 lakhs at present is used to manufacture 55,000 units of a product which is currently sold at rupees 300 per unit. The unit variable costs are rupees 236 and annual fixed overheads excluding depreciation are rupees 10 lakh 40 thousand. To keep this existing machine or to keep the existing machine in proper working condition, the company incurs annual repair and maintenance costs of 5 lakhs over and above the fixed overheads. Further informed in the question, the company is considering to install a new machine having life of 8 years at cost of rupees 60 lakhs. The residual value of the new machine at the end of its life shall be rupees 9 lakhs. Installation of new machine will reduce the variable cost per unit by rupees 16 and annual repair and maintenance cost by rupees 4 lakhs. However, fixed overheads excluding depreciation will increase by rupees 60,000. You are required to advise NJ Limited regarding replacement of the existing machine with the new one. Now tell me, this decision category is which one? Whether to replace the existing machine with new one or is it about the timing of replacement? This is the first category. That is whether this replacement will be beneficial or not. Before I take you any further, two things you must agree with me. This is not so easy going question. You will have to systematically understand it because you are handling this type of question for the first time. I will solve this whole question for you. You cannot be given any chance to try out the calculation. However, internally, if there is something arising as determining terminal cash flow, then definitely I can allow that one particular working to be done by you, to be attempted by you. Answer my questions. Look at what is the WDV of this existing machine. If you sell it now, you can sell it for how much? 16 lakhs, huh? 
और रीडिंग एंड इंटरप्रिटिंग द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली सो इम्पॉर्टेंट नो The existing machine, which can be sold for sixteen lakhs at present, look at this thing. At the end of eight years from now, this machine is expected to have a realizable value of one lakh. So you can either continue to use the machine for next eight years, then at that time it will be sold for how much? One lakh. But if you want to sell it now, now it will be sold for how much? Yeah. Understood. Now it can be sold for sixteen lakhs. What is the WDV of this machine? Yeah. And you are selling it for? Yeah. Why you want to sell it now? If you want to replace the machine with the new one. Now tell me, what is the cost of the new machine reported to you in the question? Sixty yeah. lakhs is the cost of new machine. Listen to me. If the cost of new machine is sixty lakhs, if the cost of new machine is sixty lakhs, block of asset concept you will have to follow. If we replace, if we replace, I repeat, if we replace, how much is the opening balance of block? Twenty lakhs. First, you will have to add the new machine's cost. Sixty lakhs total. Then subtract the sale value of the old machine. So revised balance of block will be sixty-four lakhs. Same example I took some time back, right? Now, if you go for replacement, I repeat, if you go for replacement, how much money you will pay from your pocket right now? Sixty lakhs for buying the new machine. Minus 16 lakhs that you will recover as scrap value or sale value from old machine. How much will be your net pocket cost? 44 lakh. 44 lakhs will be your net outflow from pocket right now. If you go for replacement, if you don't go for replacement, no cash moves out of your pocket now. If you go for replacement, 44 lakhs will be your net cash outflow. So what we do is the first. Initial two working notes when I am displaying, guys. My suggestion is because you are handling this variety of the question for the first time, and question is little challenging. I would want you to make sure that while you write down the workings, this time avoid talking and focus on the concept. If you want to talk about that thing to your neighbor, I have no problem. You can talk, but focus should be on what we are doing over here. i believe you people are crystal clear with what i am suggesting yes sir so you are just like me just like me just like me you are also sensible people and you would not do nonsense things i'm sure of that so please write the first working note heading calculation of net initial outflow i have explained you this already cost of new asset is 60 lakhs minus sale value of existing asset that is 16 lakhs so net initial outflow will be 44 lakhs second working note will be revised balance of block i have explained you this working as well so revised balance of block opening balance 20 lakhs cost of additions 60 lakhs less sale value of existing asset 16 lakhs revised balance of block will be 64 lakhs next working note next working note calculation of depreciation now we will have three different columns over here if replacement is not carried out if replacement is carried out and then incremental depreciation guys first tell me if replacement is not carried out your base of charging depreciation would remain what 20 lakhs because your old block balance is how much old block balance is 20 lakhs what is the rate of depreciation tell me rate of depreciation is 25% on wdv please tell me if replacement is not carried out how much will be the depreciation in the first year 
it will be 25% of 20 lakhs. If replacement is carried out, your revised balance of block became 64 lakhs. So then it will be 25% of 64 lakhs. So, don't write anything first you understand. If replacement is not carried out, annual depreciation for the first year will be 5 lakhs. If carried out, it will be 16 lakhs. So, incremental depreciation will be 11 lakhs. Now guys, what will happen if replacement is not carried out? In the second year, in the second year, now you will charge how much depreciation? Your block balance originally was 20 lakhs. Depreciation in year 1 was 5 lakhs. So your closing balance after first year will be 15 lakhs. You will charge 25% on 15 lakhs, correct? 3 lakhs 75,000 if replacement is not carried out. If replacement is carried out, from 64 lakhs of block balance, you subtract 16 lakhs. What is the revised balance? What is the WDV? Array 64 lakh minus 16 lakh. How much is the WDV? So then 25% of 48 lakhs, 12 lakhs. This will be 3 lakhs 75,000. This will be 12 lakhs. So what will be the incremental depreciation? You tell me one thing. Can you easily compute these depreciation values or not? Okay. Don't start writing yet. We will take the total of depreciation also. Why we take the total of depreciation? Because we will have to compute TCF also. Now please, please, please pay attention. There came one more doubt to me, which I am not calling any team to answer. I will answer myself. I have to keep telling the online students that here I am. That one doubt that came to me, a student asked me, sir, some time back you explained that shortcut of computing depreciation that I couldn't follow. Please explain me once again. Fine. Let us do that. You tell me, in this working, Tell me, first year depreciation, you people are clear, right? 25% of 20 lakhs will be 5 lakhs. If replacement is carried out, it will be 25% of 64 lakhs. So it is 16 lakhs. Incremental depreciation is 11 lakhs. Let us focus on this column only. This column only. This column only. That is, if replacement is not carried out. Guys, tell me, what is the rate of depreciation? 25%. If rate of depreciation is 25%, WDV will be 75%, yes or no? Yes, sir. That means each year's depreciation will be 75% of earlier year depreciation. Yes, so pick your calculator, please. And on that, you input 0.75. Multiplied by 5 lakhs, that is the first year's depreciation, and please press equal to one time, you would get 3 lakhs 75,000. Yes or no? Again, press equal to and check what you get. Again, press equal to and check what you get. 2 lakh 10,938. Again, press equal to and check what you get. 1,58,203. Again, press equal to and check. 1,18,652. Again, press equal to and check. 88,989. Again, press equal to and check. If you apply GT, if you apply GT, you will be getting total from this 3,75,000 up to this, right? So, apply GT and separately add 5 lakhs to get this total column. Now, do one thing. 
on your own work out these depreciations rapidly. And tell me if you are getting it clearly or not. Getting it right? I can understand only two things. Either you are not getting or you are not finding enough energy to even say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That means you agree with me that you are not finding enough energy. That's why you are agreeing with me. That yes, sir was for what? Once again, let me ask the right question. Did you people understand this? Yes, sir. One more thing. You can do the same thing directly for incremental column also, no? That also you can do. So 0 0.75 into 11 lakh start pressing equal to, even that will work out. Because rate of depreciation is same, 25%. You getting it right? Only thing is we don't need the total of incremental depreciation. But we definitely need total of both of these. One student is still wondering. Sir, why did you compute incremental depreciation? Keep wondering. Because I have not explained you yet. After a while, you will realize one thing and you will say, oh. And then when you realize the utility of that, you will say, wow. Until that time, keep patience. And because I have written incremental depreciation column, you also note it down. Okay. Now guys, one important thing. Here I want your involvement. So please. Terminal cash flow if replacement is not carried out. That means we are not replacing our old machine with the new one. We continue with the old machine. So coming next eight years, we will be using which machine? Old machine. What will be the sale value of the old machine after eight years? That is clearly given in this question, right? Now we want to compare this one lakh with what? WDV of that old machine after eight years. Can you please tell me what will be the WDV of the old machine after 8 years? WDV of the old machine after 8 years. Think and tell me, think and tell me. 2 lakh. 226 that is 200226 it is only later on that you realize right because you are not paying complete attention the WDV of the existing machine at present is how much and next 8 years we are going to charge this much depreciation this is the total of depreciation column are you people understanding this line or not Ray? after 8 years your old machine will still have WDV of 226 but you are expecting to sell it off for 1 lakh. 8 years is end of the project life, end of the machine life. Now the block will become empty. Correct? So you tell me, you are selling the machine for a gain or for a loss? Which loss it will be? Short term capital loss. Now simple logic is, Whenever you make a gain, you pay tax. Whenever you incur loss, you save tax. And every rupee of tax saved is as good as that income you have earned. So, what will be the tax saving on this STCL? 40% of that loss amount, right? 40,090, 40,090. So can someone tell me what will be the terminal cash flow finally? 1 lakh you will be getting from sale of machine and 
फोर्टी थाउजेंड यूल बी फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड नाइन्टी यूल बी सेविंग एज टैक्स सो योर टर्मिनल कैश फ्लो विल बी एग्रीगेट ऑफ दीज टू I will want your involvement once again. For next couple of minutes, complete silence and complete involvement. Because, can you guess which will be the next working note? This is terminal cash flow. If replacement is not carried out, what will be the terminal cash flow? If I uttered that. i should have waited for you to answer okay anyway nothing major about that working note 5 terminal cash flow if replacement is carried wait 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 don't start writing yet control yourself <laughs> two minutes i am asking your involvement over here how do you do this working tell me you explain me sale value of asset at end of life will be how much read the question if the machine is replaced after 8 years what will be the sale value of this 9 lakhs, 9 lakhs is correct answer what will be the wdv of this machine by end of life if you say 2 lakh 40000 it is a terrible mistake because we are following block of asset concept and block opening balance was not 60 lakhs block opening balance was 64 lakhs so wdv of asset at end of life will be 64 lakhs be careful about this huh? don't come don't take 60 lakh the moment you take 60 lakhs minus 57 lakh it will be gone wrong why wrong because your all depreciation computation were taking the base amount as what 64 lakhs are you going to commit this kind of mistakes that is why i ask you to be attentive be careful be involved over here so tell me what is the result short term capital gain or short term capital loss short term capital gain short term capital gain, gain. so short term capital gain is 259277 so this time on this gain will you save tax or pay tax pay tax, pay tax. so short term capital gain tax will be how much 40% of the gain amount that is 1 lakh 3711 and please tell me what will be your terminal cash flow now can i say can i say can i say 9 lakhs Plus one lakh three thousand seven hundred eleven. No, I cannot say that. What is the correct answer? Nine lakhs plus or minus? minus. I did not understand why minus. Because tax we have to pay from our pocket. It will be an outflow. So machine sold for how much? Nine lakhs and tax paid will be one lakh three thousand seven hundred eleven. So nine lakhs, not plus, but minus one lakh three thousand seven hundred eleven, seven ninety six to eighty nine. Is this clear to all of you? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to do something which is very, very important. I'm going to solve this question now. with two different approaches one is called separate present value approach and one is called incremental approach under certain situations incremental approach will not be permissible other than those situations it will be preferred that you do it by incremental approach but learning wise you should know both the approaches so let me first make you write one important line over here you also write this note after the above five working notes the remaining solution can be carried out by separate npv method or incremental approach 
Write it quickly. You know, from here, what is the best scene? When I look at you and I find you writing rigorously and your notebook is getting filled up, page after page, page after page. And one student, she came to me today with one notebook already completed. I was expecting that maybe by capital budgeting end, Maybe one notebook gets completed, but already one notebook got completed. Some students are not writing at all. Their notebooks remain unused. Most important. How many pages completed already? Approx half notebook done. More than half. Okay. Let us deal with the first method, separate NPV method. Working note number six, calculation of PBDT if replacement is not carried out. Selling price per unit, just pay attention for a minute then you can write, it is very easy. Selling price per unit is how much? Less variable cost per unit. We did something like this yesterday, right? Yes, Contribution per unit will be 64. Number of units that you are selling is 55,000. So total contribution will be 35,20,000. Easy, right? So total contribution will be how much? 35,20,000. From this you will subtract the cash cost, that is fixed operating cost other than depreciation, 10,40,000. You will also subtract repairs and maintenance cost. If the replacement is not carried out, repair maintenance cost annually is how much? 5 lakhs. So PBDT will be 19,80,000. Can you, can you try making the seventh working note and can you guess what will be the title of seventh working note? Calculation of PBDT if replacement is carried out. Can anyone, can anyone try that calculation? Or should I display? Display. Seventh working note. Calculation of PBDT if replacement is carried out. Selling price per unit remains same. Variable cost per unit will change. So your contribution per unit obviously will change. You are trying out the calculation? Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. But please give me correct answer. Maybe if this big question comes, 16 marks, not less than that. One full-fledged question then it is. This particular question I have picked up from finals. Previous question, it was very big because of two different assumptions. They don't ask both assumptions, any one thing will come, any one.
I am still waiting for your answers. Thirty? Check. Correct answer will be thirty-two lakhs. If you got thirty-two lakhs, it is correct. If you got thirty-two lakhs, it is correct. Now, later part of the solution is very easy going. It's a big solution definitely, but it will not create any complication further. Now, it is very simple. You know, we got PBDT under both cases. Which both case? If replacement is carried out, if replacement is not carried out. We also computed depreciation for both the scenarios. So for both the scenarios, we got PBDT, we got depreciation. Once you are clear with PBDT and depreciation, PBDT minus depreciation will give you PBT. PBT minus tax will give you PAT. Or what you can do again is, tax rate is 40%. So PAT will be 40% of PBT. Correct? 60%. If tax rate is 40%, PAT will be 60% of PBT. Then, add back depreciation, you get annual cash flow. Apply PV factors, you get PV of ACF. PV of ACF plus PV of TCF will give you total PV of inflow. Minus initial investment, you get PV of, PV of outflow. If you subtract, you get NPV. Can we agree that the remaining part of the solution is simple? So, let us just carry out the solution. PV of ACF if replacement is not carried out. Easy. Write the solution. This working note represents what? PV of ACF if replacement is not carried out. Then we will make ninth working note as what? PV of ACF if replacement is carried out. Then we will compute NPV. NPV if replacement is not carried out and NPV if replacement is carried out. Whichever is bigger NPV, we select that. This was working note number what? Eight. Working note number nine. Okay. NPV of replacement decision. Part 1. If replacement is not carried out. PV of ACF. We got from that big table. PV of TCF added to that. You understand that this was TCF, right? This amount was TCF. And this is the PV factor of 8th year. So PV of TCF added, we get total PV of inflow. How much is PV of outflow? I'm asking how much is PV of outflow that I should subtract from here? Is there any student in the class who can think sensible and give me correct answer? Re, if you don't replace your existing machine with the new one, will you still pay 44 lakhs? Re, read the heading, part one, if replacement is not carried out. 
Idiots, you people are there. Nil, nothing will happen, no. If replacement is not carried out, nothing will happen. So what will be the NPV if replacement is not carried out? 69,47,985. That 44 lakhs what you are suggesting to subtract will be subtracted in the second part where we will say NPV of replacement decision if replacement is carried out. Shall we move ahead? Next working note. Under that same 10th working note, part 2, if replacement is carried out, PV of ACF 1 crore 19 lakh 86,227, add PV of TCF, total PV of inflow, and from that you subtract total PV of outflow. Here you will subtract 44 lakhs. NPV if replacement is carried out will be 79,57,701. So what is the additional NPV arising due to re replacement? Difference between both the NPVs. So additional NPV arising due to replacement which is also called as NPV of replacement decision 10,9716 and conclusion the existing machine should be replaced. This is not yet the end of the solution. There were two different approaches. One was separate NPV approach which we just finished. One is incremental approach which we have yet to start. Second approach, incremental approach. So we start with incremental PBDT. Guys, tell me one thing. How much was PBDT if replacement is carried out? How much was PBDT if replacement is carried out? It was 32 lakhs, correct? It was 32 lakhs. And... What was the PBDT if replacement was not carried out? 19 lakh. So finally, how much is PBDT arising additionally because of replacement? 12 lakh 20 thousand. Now look at this, look at this, all of you. Don't start writing yet, first pay attention. We are computing incremental PBDT. Only the changes we will consider. Selling price, did it change? No. Number of units, did it change? But variable cost per unit changed, right? How much was change in the variable cost per unit? It increased or reduced? So we will call this as saving in variable cost. Once again, someone will come and ask me, Sir, how can saving be part of cash flow? Savings in your outflow is as good as an inflow. How much cost you saved per unit? And how many units you are producing? Every year there were payments towards your variable cost. You still have payments towards variable cost, but 8,80,000 is literally what you have saved. So, lesser outflow is still giving you indication of as if this is your additional income. What is the next change that has happened because of replacement? Fixed cost will increase by but repair and maintenance cost will reduce, right? So savings in repair and maintenance cost will be 4 lakhs. Earlier it was how much? 5 lakhs. If replacement is carried out it will be only 1 lakh. So saving is by and what will be the additional fixed cost? 60,000. Guys, separately computing 32 lakhs and computing 19 lakh 80,000 and then finding difference as 12 lakh 20,000 is a longer way. Don't you agree this is a shorter way? Yes, Next after this. 
PV of incremental ACF. Guys, please pay attention. Huh? Please pay attention. Even while writing column headings, you pay attention. First, you listen to me, all of you. One big table again. But only one. Over there, we have prepared two. Please concentrate on the headings. It is year, year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, correct? Incremental PBDT. Each year you will be writing what? 12 lakh 20 thousand. Incremental depreciation. We already made one column in the earlier working, remember? That time you found yourself wondering why are we making this? But now you will realize why we are making this. Incremental PBT will be incremental PBDT minus incremental depreciation, correct? Incremental PBT, once you get 60% of that will be incremental PAT. Then adding incremental depreciation back to this will be give you incremental. So be careful when you are writing column headings. Incremental PBDT, incremental depreciation, incremental PBT, incremental PAT, incremental ACF. Don't write incremental PV factors. PV factors are just PV factors. And most importantly, don't write incremental PV of ACF. It is PV of incremental ACF. There is something going into your head or not? Yes, sir. Now, these are the figures. Last part. PV of incremental ACF add PV of incremental TCF. Total PV of incremental inflow less PV of outflow NPV of replacement decision. See there the difference between the two NPVs was what? Check. 10 lakh 9000 700 and exact same amount, right? There may be a rupee of difference over here. If the approach is this one, maybe one or two rupees of difference, sometimes you may coincidentally get the same amount as well. Conclusion.